if you love rich world building, rich, very, very rich history and gods and unique magic system, you will love these books. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. Today I want to talk about all the exciting upcoming releases of January and specifically the ones that I have my eyes on. So let's begin with the first book. I have 14 books on my list today, so let's get started. The first book that I'm definitely going to read because it's a sequel to a book that I read at the beginning of 2023 and I loved, it was this one. I always forget the name because it's a long title. Song of Silver, Flame Like Night. I love this book so, so much. The sequel is coming out January 2nd, but I'm waiting for the Illumicrate edition so it could match mine. The second book is called Dark Star Burning, Ash Falls White, and it is a YA epic fantasy and I think it's only a duology. It's inspired by the mythology and folklore of ancient China. And in this book, we follow Lan, and Lan lives in hiding after the Elantian colonizers invited her kingdom and killed her mother, and also outlawed her people's magic. She spends her nights as a song girl while trying to look for clues to understand the strange mark burned into her arm by her mother and her last act before she died, and no one but Lan can see it. Until the night, a boy appears at her tea house and saves her life. That boy's name is Zen, and Zen is a practitioner, which means that he's one of the fabled magicians of the Last Kingdom. Their magic was rumored to have been drawn from the demons they communed with, and that magic is believed to be long lost. And they must hide it at all costs from the Elantians because they will use it against them. The story of this book was so fresh, so original, so vivid. The writing style is lyrical and you will feel for the characters. You will root for them. I love this one so, so much and I cannot wait to get back into that world. Highly recommend if you love Chinese mythology, uh, metal magic, chi magic and demon gods, you will enjoy this one too. The second book that I'm going to mention is coming out January 9th. It's called Sanctuary of the Shadow. It is a new adult fantasy and this is going to be published by Entangled Publishing. We follow Haro. She's disguising her abilities as part of her act in a circus to keep her true identity safe from those who slaughtered her entire clan. Until she meets someone with similar powers, I think who was Cage in a circus, I guess, and this was pitched as the born identity meets the magic system of shadow and bone and the political intrigue and witch lore and the style of the witcher. And that makes me go into this book with higher expectations. That's not always a good thing. So yeah, but I already seen this pitch, so I don't know about that because if this delivers, this is going to be phenomenal. By the way, this is a book that I mentioned in one of my special edition books that you could buy without a subscription but i'm i don't know if it's going to deliver because it's a standalone so we will see about that the third book everyone is waiting for this one house of flame and shadow coming out january 30th and i think everyone already have that date marked on their calendar uh, next we have emily wilde's second book emily wilde's map of the other lands it's a cozy adult fantasy it's the sequel to emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairy this is going to come out on the 16th. And on the 23rd, we have Defy the Night, which is the third and final book in the Destroy the Day series. It is a YA fantasy romance, and I think it's the reimagining of Robin Hood. There is a sickness ravaging this kingdom where two young heirs are ruling because their parents, the king and the queen, got assassinated. And now the two brothers, one of them is the king and one of them is the king's justice. And the only known cure is an elixir made from the moonflower petals that is severely limited. And in another part of the kingdom, we follow Apothecary Apprentice Tessa who is tired of seeing her neighbors die and their suffering ignored by the unyielding royals. And every night she and her best friend Wes risk their lives to steal the moonflower petals and distribute the elixir to those who need it most. 
But as rumors spread that the cure does not work anymore, there are sparks of rebellion that begin to flare and Tessa was desperate enough to try to infiltrate the castle to get more of those moonflower petals. But she ends up discovering other secrets about her kingdom and the story starts from there. I personally did not read these books but I heard great things about them. So yeah, we have the final book coming out on the 23rd. Another book coming out on January 6th, it is The Atlas Complex, which is the third and final book in the Atlas series. It is an adult fantasy and I know a lot of people are waiting for this one. Next up we have A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saff. This is the author of A Fire Wilder Magic. It was very very popular last year. This book is a YA historical fiction fantasy and we follow a dressmaker who was commissioned for a royal wedding and finds herself embroiled in a scandal when a gossip columnist draws attention to her undeniable chemistry with the groom. This book is pitched as a Regency England inspired fantasy world in a sweeping romance threaded with intrigue, unforgettable characters and a love story for the ages and I'm really waiting for this book to come out. I'm intrigued and I really want to read it. It's going to come out on January 23rd and I'm very excited for this one. Next we have Midnight Ruin by Katie Robert coming out on the 16th. It's an adult romanticy. It is book six in the Dark Olympus series and all the series is about Greek mythology, reimagining, and this book specifically is a friends to lovers. And of course, with the signature spice of Katie Robert. Next, we have The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. This is book two in the Maid series. Book one being The Maid, it was a mystery thriller and a lot of people enjoyed it. In the second book, an author dies in the Regency Hotel where Molly works and she tries to solve the mystery behind his death because apparently it was a murder. This one is going to release on the 18th. Next we have book two in the Falling for Fables. It is called Brood in Magic, book one being Forged by Magic. It's a cozy fantasy romance by Jenna Wolfhart and it's expected to be published on the 2nd. And then on January 23rd, a lot of people are waiting for this one. It's the finale of the Witch Walker series by Charissa Weeks. It's called Kingdom of the Forgotten. It is the fourth book in the Witch Walker series. The first book being The Witch Collector. I already told you about this. I already read this first book, but I still have the next books to read. I love this series. There is a novella which will be the final book, but this fourth book is a novel. And the novella is called A God's War. It's going to be released later on May 11th, but this one is coming out, as I said, January 23rd. If you didn't know about the series, the Witch Walker series is a new adult fantasy romance. The first book is called The Witch Collector, and every harvest moon, the Witch Collector rides into the town where our main female character lives and leads them to the city of the immortal Frost King, and they remain there forever. So the people in this village do not have any idea uh, what happens to the girls because no one comes back from there. And our book opens with the collecting day where our main female character her name is Reina she's 24 years old and she kept her witchy powers hidden until she was ready to be taken by the witch collector because she was planning to save her sister and as she was ready to execute her plan the village gets attacked and the witch collector gets very badly injured so what she decides to do she decides to save him in order to have a chance to see her sister again and the story begins from there and it's enemies to lovers at its best and it's so so good and I cannot wait to reread book one so I can read the rest of the series. I highly recommend this series. If you love rich world building, rich, very very rich history and gods and unique magic system, you will love these books. Uh, next up we have a book that I'm anticipating like a lot of people by Sarah A. Parker. She's the author of To Bleed the Crystal Bloom. The book is called When the Moon Hatched. It is a fantasy romance. It is star-crossed lovers. We have Faye. We have the tropes of who hurt you and forced proximity and forbidden love and like banter. It's also a multiple POVs and strong and sharp main female character 
and a lot of angst. I am so anticipating this book. I'm following the author and I love everything that she shared, the snippets that she shared of this book. And I'm very, very excited to dive into this. Next up, we have Voyage of the Dam. This is an adult fantasy mystery. This is going to release January 18th. It's about 12 heirs from 12 provinces from this kingdom who all have magical abilities that embark on a journey together. I don't remember why they do it, but they are on a ship together on this journey, but somebody gets murdered and they try, of course, to discover who among them is the killer, but a lot of things happen after that. Maybe there is a subplot of romance in this book, but it's I think it's mainly uh, the mystery element that is prominent here. Next up, we have Nectar of the Wicked. It is book one in the Deadly Divine Duet series. This series got picked up by Hoarderscape and they are going to re-release it as an ebook on January 1st and then the paperbacks at a later date. It's an adult fantasy romance and this is pitched as a Court of Thorns and Roses meets Rapunzel and a spicy romanticy with tropes of enemies to lovers, marriage of convenience and fated mates. A lot of people already read this book and they love them and I really, really, really want to get to them also very soon. Up next we have The City of Stardust. This is all over Bookstagram January 30th. It's an adult magical realism story. It's a debut novel by Georgia Summers. Here we follow Violet's family who is cursed. One member in each generation is doomed to be stolen and taken away to another world and Violet is trying to find a way out of this fate and rescue herself and her mother. Next up on January 7th we have Whispers of the Deep by Emma Hamm. It's a monster romance. We have an underwater city, we have a badass main female character, we have a slow burn romance, enemies to lovers, captor captive situation, People who read the arc said that this was a swoon-worthy book. It will put a smile on your face and it's perfect for people who never read a monster romance before. I'm really, really intrigued by this one and I really want to pick it up soon. And that was it for me today for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, leave me the blue heart emoji and tell me if there is any book of these that you are interested in. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so we can become book besties. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.